welcome back to my channel um today i just want to show you how you can organize your closet if your closet is um, not big or it's big okay so i think this closet is big because it has a uh, many section three sections so i just want to show you how you can organize your closet because sometimes you have a very big closet but now the your clothes are all over and it feels like it's not fitting your clothes or maybe you have a small uh, closet and then again you don't know how to arrange them you feel like it's not fitting your clothes so regardless of the size of your closet the arrangement of your clothes and anything that you're keeping in your closet will determine how neat it is going to look like and also how it is going to accommodate everything that you have or how it is going to be now so let's look at this closet and then now uh, maybe you can get one two three or four ideas on how you can organize yours so for me uh neatness and well arranged clothes is um uh tick to me but if things are not well arranged is not a uh, tick to me it's always disturb me so let's go so here i've kept some of the bags uh, here and then this uh, this section we have uh, camera dresses we have also dresses that you can wear um somewhere then uh, we have uh, dead dresses also they are there but you know you cannot see all of them and then this here mostly i we i wear them when in the week so when you check um a wide view <laughs> Okay, so here I've kept um, what I've kept. These are night dresses. There are very many here. I've kept them here. There are very many there. So they are of different uh, different sizes and also colors. So I've I've used a one hanger to do all of them. Then these are t-shirts t-shirts this one are for my organization then this one are my t-shirts also not for organization but i bought so we have this sweater and then we have oh these ones are shirts and then these ones are shirts okay so these ones are shirts this one's a this one are shirts and then this one are t-shirts sorry for that confusion so these ones are shirts and then this ones are t-shirts and then uh, we have hood here we have uh, this sweater then we have jackets and the rest so this side will look like this from okay i've not uh, started from the top it's from where I've hung those clothes and then those which I have uh, arranged down and then we have these bags but we still have, have uh, upper side then we move to the second so these ones this, the two have kept some clothes there so we are not, we are not going to open it then this, this section this section we have uh, Ah, okay african wears so we call deras and then some okay laptops then that section i've put some extra bed sheets and bed covers and also pillowcases this are uh, handkerchief or face towel then so this section look like this then we have up there we have towels so there are some of the towels then also again we still have up you 
uh, there I've stored uh, extra uh, bags for traveling so so this section look uh, I don't know if you can be able to see so this section <laughs> okay it's not previewing everything but this section has a, a two that can slide and then open open sections which are three open sections and up there we have our towels and then here we have uh, extra bed sheets and some of the some of the extra bed sheets because there are others we have kept somewhere else and also bed covers face towels and then also we have uh, pillow cases and then this one so I usually use when it's cold so we have the third section so this closet has three sections of said during the first uh, uh, said earlier about it having three sections so we have the two which are closed and then this area which is which has uh, some parts which are open so let's see the third section so here and here we have uh, some lotion, some air bands, okay, and then we have uh, our books, read, uh, books which I can write and also which I can read, iron box, I don't use iron box mostly, and then we have bells here, and then we have this. So, and then we have this section. So, here have uh, some tops, some underwears, well arranged. So, ensure that you're arranging your clothes so that they look neat. Then, I have uh, trousers, have cameras, and also the casuals. Uh, the other side, also, there are uh, trousers, cameras, and also casuals, and then jeans on the other side. And then now uh, the ones I've hung mostly are coats, sweaters, uh, siphon shirts. So, so they are they are like this. So when you look at the one that I've hung is like that. So this closet also has down and then middle one and then up where I've stored the suitcase. So this closet you can close. So I don't know if I'll, I'll be able to capture everything or this closet. So it's like that. Upper section. Then we have lower section. So we have not up the 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 the, the middle section is this. How it looks like like this. Then we have the the lower section uh, like that, and then we have the upper section like that. So that's all about this closet. So the secret is how you arrange so that it is able to suit all your clothes and everything that you want to store in your closet. So the secret is arrangement, nothing else, because. If you have a bigger closet and then you don't arrange it very well, you still uh, lack space to sew your things. If you have smaller and you don't arrange it very well, same case. So the secret is the well arrangement. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it is going to help you to arrange your closets so that it looks so neat and yummy and attractive. May I just like a very well arranged closet like this. It give me a peace of mind. Bye bye.